In the vast expanse of North America, there exists a remarkable spot in Northwest Wyoming where a simple spill of water has the potential to embark on a truly unique journey. This is a story of North to Oceans Creek, a natural wonder that defies the norm by flowing into both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, all thanks to a remarkable quirk of geography and gravity, a peculiar watershed. Imagine standing at a particular point in Northwest Wyoming, contemplating a spill of water. What makes this place so special is the uncertainty that shrouds the water's fate. In most of North America, the water will inevitably find its way to one of four destinations, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, or the Great Basin. The determination of this destination depends on the geography of the land and its gravity-fed drainage systems. However, the tale of North to Ocean's Creek takes a fascinating twist. Here, the Continental Divide, which forces every other river in the region to choose one ocean or the other, widens its boundaries to accommodate a curious waterway. This creek, located within the bridger teton National Forest, becomes an exception to the rule, defying the conventional logic of nature. The Continental Divide The Continental Divide is not a clean line following the highest mountain peaks, as one might expect. Instead, it weaves through the terrain, accommodating a few peculiarities. It widens around areas known as endoric basins, where water doesn't flow anywhere but remains trapped. It also broadens around certain lakes, like Isa Lake, and intriguingly, a place called Committee's Punch Bowl in Canada. These lakes are unique in that they straddle the Continental Divide, and their waters flow in both directions. Standing on this divide in Wyoming, you can't help but feel a deep sense of awe. On one side, you might visualize the grandeur of the Rockies, with their snow-capped peaks and pristine lakes, giving birth to rivers that eventually find their way to the Pacific, embracing the vast expanse of the ocean. On the other side, the landscape might be different, rolling hills, meandering streams, and dense forests, all nourished by waters destined for the Atlantic. The Continental Divide in Wyoming isn't just a geographical curiosity, it's a lifeline for countless species. Animals, from elusive mountain lions to agile deer, navigate their habitats based on the watersheds defined by this divide. For them, it's not just a line on the map, it's a boundary that determines their hunting grounds, their migration routes, and even their survival. An unusual phenomenon. It's one thing to find water that doesn't flow to any ocean, and quite another to encounter a river that constantly supplies water to two oceans separated by thousands of miles. But that's precisely what happens at North to Oceans Creek, which is named after its founder, John Francis North. The creek's journey is a fascinating one, starting at an alpine meadow called Two Ocean Pass. Here at the so-called parting of the waters, the creek encounters a rocky point that divides its flow, sending a portion of it onward to the Pacific Creek and another portion to Atlantic Creek. Remarkably, this division is entirely reliant on the whims of gravity and a few strategically placed rocks. It's these rocks that decide the fate of each raindrop, determining whether it will embark on a long and winding journey to the Pacific or take a more leisurely path to the Atlantic. Journey to the Pacific For the raindrops destined for the Pacific, the adventure begins as they join Pacific Creek. From there, they make their way to Snake River, navigating through Idaho Falls. The journey continues as they merge with the Columbia River, marking the border between Oregon and Washington until they finally reach the Pacific Ocean. The epic journey spans approximately 1,353 miles, or 2,177 kilometers, showcasing the true essence of water's determination. On the other hand, for those raindrops that happen to tumble towards Atlantic Creek, a vastly different journey awaits. These fortunate drops embark on a lengthier excursion that starts with their flow into the Yellowstone River. From there, they make their way down the Missouri River, passing through key cities such as Bismarck, Omaha, and St. Louis. Their aquatic adventure takes them further south as they pour into the Mississippi River, meandering through cities like Memphis and New Orleans before finally emptying into the Gulf of Mexico. It's a journey that spans more than two and a half times the distance of their Pacific counterparts, accompanied by extra sights like the Gateway Arch and a healthy dose of jazz. Here's an interesting tidbit. If you were to draw a continuous line from the Pacific to Two Oceans Pass and then onward to the Atlantic, the line would essentially slice across the entire North American continent. This intriguing geological fact technically designates this land as an island. Nature's Versatility versus Human Ingenuity If you were to ask a civil engineer about the challenges of moving water across the continental divide, they would likely break out into a cold sweat. 
This task is no small feat, as evidenced by colossal undertakings like the Panama Canal and the intricate canal systems of Colorado. The state of Colorado poses a unique challenge due to the continental divide running right through it. 80% of the region's rain falls on one side of the divide, while 80% of its population resides on the other. This geographical inconvenience necessitates substantial infrastructure, including canals and piping, to quench the thirst of the population. The implementation of such infrastructure demands decades of planning and investment, amounting to billions of dollars. In stark contrast to these grand human endeavors, a seemingly humble creek, north to Ocean's Creek, achieves a similar feat without the complexity of engineered solutions. It flows in multiple directions effortlessly, as if nothing more than a trivial natural occurrence. Nature, in its own quiet way, triumphs over human engineering, making us rethink our assumptions and approaches to managing water resources. If you're liking the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The Spring Flood Spectacle the peculiarity of North to Ocean's Creek becomes even more pronounced during the spring season when Two Ocean Pass experiences flooding. This natural phenomenon allows the resident fish to embark on a rather astonishing journey. Thanks to the increased water levels, fish are capable of swimming from the Pacific watershed to the Atlantic watershed with relative ease. It's worth noting that this easy fish transit wasn't always so simple for humans. A few centuries ago, explorers and colonizers were desperately seeking a Northwest Passage, a direct water route to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. While they didn't find it, the Yellowstone Cutthroat Trout, a fish historically more at home in the Atlantic watershed, appears to have had its very own historical Northwest Passage to Yellowstone Lake. This passage is believed to have existed some 14,000 years ago through Two Ocean Pass. As a result, a long-standing ecological mystery found an unexpected solution, thanks to a meandering creek that flows in two directions. The story of North to Ocean's Creek is a testament to the wonders of nature and the unexpected quirks of our planet's geography. It identifies the conventional wisdom of watersheds and serves as a reminder that, despite our best efforts, nature has its own way of doing things. This humble creek showcases how a simple spill of water can be a gateway to discovery and amazement. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.